Good morning all my boys and girls and today is Monday. Yes boys and girls, so we're going to start with our morning program. We're going to read our Bible story my boys and girls. We're going to do the days of the week. Then we're going to do something else with the weather. We're going to do some counting. So let's start with reading our Bible story. So this week's Bible story boys and girls is frogs everywhere. So let's start reading the cruel Pharaoh made the Israelites work very hard. The Lord felt sorry for them. He sent Moses to ask Pharaoh if he could lead the Israelites out of Egypt to a better place. Pharaoh was very cross. He told Moses that he would never allow the Israelites to leave. They simply had to carry on working so hard. God then decided to send thousands of frogs to Egypt. There were frogs in the Egypt's bed, in their food, and even in their clothing. There were frogs everywhere. Pharaoh grew so tired of the frogs and all the other bad things that God's allowed to happen in Egypt that he told Moses, you must move away now. So the Israelites left Egypt and went to live in a better place. Boys and girls, close your eyes so that we can pray. Thank you, Lord, for helping me when people are mean to me. Amen. Boys and girls, our lesson that we have learned, our Bible story is, you can trust in the Lord because he always protects his children. Guys, so boys and girls, if you are kind to someone else, remember the kindness will come back to you. And if someone is really mean to you or treat you bad, remember to tell mommy and daddy also about it. So boys and girls, let's start with our days of the week. So we're going to start by Monday and we're going to end by Sunday because we have seven days in a week. Let's start Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Well done. So boys and girls, is it Thursday today? No. Wednesday? No. Friday? No. Today is Monday. Yes, boys and girls. So remember your pig and your arrow and put it on Monday. That's correct, boys and girls. So, boys and girls, teacher, I don't want you to do me a little favor. So for this week to make it a bit fun, we are not going to do the weather together. You are going to do the weather on your own and you're going to take mommy or daddy outside and show them what is the weather looking like and ask them questions. Mommy, daddy, is it partly cloudy, snowfall, thunderstorm, sunshine, rain or cloudy? And then if you see what the weather looks outside, take your pig and your arrow and put it on the weather picture. Let's start with counting. Get your counting sheet for teacher Anna out. Let me get mine ready. And is it ready, boys and girls? Well done. Let's start counting from zero to ten. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, boys and girls. So you can practice counting. Okay, and ask mommy and daddy to take me a little video while you count. Okay, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, now for our theme discussion. This week's theme discussion is animal homes. Now, boys and girls, all of us need a home to stay in, okay? So, some of us, we have a very big home. Some of us, we have a smaller home. But, boys and girls, our animals, do they need a home? Yes, boys and girls, they need a home to stay in. So, boys and girls, we are going to talk a little bit about chickens and we're going to talk about a fish and we're going to talk where does a doggy stay in and we're going to talk a little bit where does a bee stay in so boys and girls i have a bit of a book here for you to show you so on our book my boys and girls you can see here's a little place with the chickens on the ground they also stay in the high house okay so they don't stay in the house that we stay in right no they don't does the fish stay in the house that we stay in? No, they don't. Okay, so fish stays in a fish tank 
and the fish need some water, boys and girls. Can a fish live without water? No, they can't. Okay, so you're going to see here some rabbits and then we're going to have a look down here. Can you see my boys and girls? So this is where your little hamster can stay in. So you can see the different animal homes we get and here stays a doggy and it's doggy kennel. Okay, boys and girls. So if you have a little pet at home or animal, ask mommy and daddy to take me a photo and send it to me. Okay. Okay, boys and girls. Now we're going to do our activity sheet day one. We are going to cross out the pictures in each row that does not look the same. So boys and girls, you're going to take any coloring crayon or a pencil or even a cookie and then you're going to cross out each one that does not look the same in each row. So boys and girls, at the first row, we can see the first picture with the round fish tank with the little fish in. Does not look the same as the following two. Okay, so boys and girls, in the next row, we have a beehive. And on the side, we have a beehive. So you can see Teacher Anna already crossed the middle one out so you can see. Boys and girls, remember, you're not allowed to make a circle. It needs to be a cross okay let's go to the third row and boys and girls remember to color them in nicely for teacher anna and ask mommy and daddy to take a photo and send it to me okay boys and girls so boys and girls in the third row we can see the spider web is the one that does not look the same as the other two pictures in your third row Boys and girls, now we're going to look at the last row and you can see that the two bird cages are the same but the dog's kennel is not the same. So boys and girls, remember to write your name, ask mommy and daddy to take teacher Anna a photo and send it to me, okay? Okay, boys and girls, now that we did our activity sheet day one, we are going to do our artwork. So boys and girls, all of you did receive a clean paper plate and little ice cream stick it can be yellow blue orange or green that you did receive you did receive some cotton wool so boys and girls i want you to do teacher on a favor you can color your paper plate blue and you can stick the cotton wool on and then boys and girls you need to make sure you ask mommy and daddy to make just a little hole in the middle of your paper plate that you're going to put your duck in. So on your cutout sheet, boys and girls, you did receive a little duck picture. So ask mommy and daddy if you struggle to help you to cut out your duck. Stick it on your ice cream stick, boys and girls, so it looks like this. After you color it or stick it your cotton wool on your paper plate, your little duck must be able to swim in its pond. Yes, boys and girls, so it must look like this. Okay. So, after you're done, you take me a photo and you send it to Teacher Anna. And remember to have lots of fun. Okay, my boys and girls, that's all for today. So, Teacher Anna will see you tomorrow. Ask Mommy and Daddy to click on the song link, listen to the song and sing with and have fun. Teacher Anna, see you tomorrow. Bye!